Why do you want to study medicine? I've always been extremely studious and inquisitive, and I enjoy learning new things, particularly scientific content. My interest in medicine peaked at age 12 when my younger sister suffered a broken arm. I was fascinated by how efficiently the doctors treated her and how quickly they were able to manage her pain. I also wanted that kind of knowledge to be able to reduce pain, to be able to provide a solution to those who are hurting through investigative diagnosis and treatment. From that point on, I decided to learn about everything related to medicine and it led me to this moment. I appreciate that medicine is quite a demanding career, especially with the current challenges faced by the NHS, but this is not to overshadow the highs of a uniquely rewarding career where you're able to provide patient care whilst having the opportunity to seek greater scientific understanding. What are your thoughts on the current state of the NHS? The NHS has been a beacon of public good in the UK for decades, and I have deep respect for the pivotal role NHS staff have played in supporting the health of millions. It's difficult to make an assessment from the outside, but according to my research, the issues faced by the NHS are largely operational and economic issues linked to funding, staffing, and efficiency challenges. As the issues are complex, Innovative solutions are required, and I believe that a combination of increased investment, improved efficiency, and innovative approaches to healthcare delivery are vital to ensure the long-term sustainability of the NHS and its ability to meet the needs of the population. What would you do if you witnessed a colleague behaving unethically? Working with high ethical standards is the crux of medicine, and doctors have a shared responsibility to ensure patient safety. So unethical behaviour should be addressed swiftly but in a tactful manner. Depending on the gravity of the unethical behaviour, I would address the issue of my colleague privately first to understand the situation better and to provide support, whilst drawing their attention to the code of conduct outlined by the General Medical Council. However, if the behaviour continued, I would escalate the matter to my senior to ensure measures are taken by the relevant authorities. However, I would escalate immediately if I had any concerns about patient safety.